So if you're using Facebook ads to promote your music and you want to send people over to Spotify or Apple Music, you need to make sure you do not use the link click traffic campaign. And the reason is there's actually a scenario where you can get like hundreds or thousands of link clicks and it'll result in essentially zero or like five streams. And this all stems back to when I made this video right here where I showed how I promoted my song Neutron and I used a link click campaign and my music before that I used link click campaigns and it all went hunky dory. Now the thing is after the fact when I promoted the song after Neutron, my song You, I made a video showing how my link click campaign completely failed. And from that point on, I started using conversion campaigns, which I've made several videos showing you exactly how to do that. Now, there's, I'm going to link to that at the end of this video, but I want to guide you through and sh explain exactly why this is the case. Because if you're using link click campaigns and you don't want to get in the pixel stuff, you don't want to use conversions, you really need to figure it out and use it because otherwise you're going to waste a ton of money in the process. So to explain this, I need to tell you how a link click campaign works. Basically, you give Facebook a link, and anytime someone swipes up in your ad or clicks the button, Facebook says, cool, that person did this, and it goes try to it goes and tries to find more people who are likely to click. Now, a conversion campaign, the way I do it is the person lands on a page that says like Spotify, Apple Music, and then it fires a conversion when they click that button. And then that Facebook knows, okay, that person did that. We're gonna find more people like that. Now you can imagine that that's a much more high intent action because someone has to click in the page and then click a button. So you're getting very high qualified people. With the link click campaign, if someone accidentally swipes up or clicks, or if there's bots on Facebook who are clicking, all of those are going to count for super cheap because what's more likely to click a whole bunch of stuff in a day other than a bot or people who accidentally click a lot. All right, so just to make sure you actually know what I'm talking about, let's let's take a look at the Facebook ads interface. So when you make a new campaign, you get the option to make all these different types of campaigns. And the bad way of doing it is to use this traffic option. That's the way where if anyone accidentally swipes or a bot clicks, Facebook's going to register that as the person did what you wanted them to do. And those people did not do what you wanted them to do. In that case, a conversion campaign, those clicks would not count. Uh, and Facebook will learn what types of people are actually doing the action they want. And again, this is the option, the conversion campaign, where someone gets on a landing page like the one I'm showing you on screen right now, and it doesn't count it until they click that button on that landing page. But I want to talk about another huge advantage of using conversion campaigns. So a lot of people don't realize that if you use a link click campaign, Facebook doesn't track those people at all. So you can't retarget any of them. You can't make a lookalike audience off of them. You, they're gone. They're not in your audience. You can't really do anything with them. Again, if you use a conversion campaign, the next time you release a song, you can actually send, say that, okay, every person that ever clicked any of my landing pages and converted, show them the ads for my next song. You can also do something where you say, okay, Facebook, I got like 3,000 people to do my conversion. Go find me millions more who are like that. And that's what the lookalike campaign is. You can't do either of those things if you're using a link click campaign. So please stop using the traffic option for all of those advantages. And as I promised, here's the video where I show the current way that I do this using conversions that has all those perks, such as retargeting, making lookalike audiences, and not getting a bunch of bots and accidental clickers trying to click your song. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.